Hey guys, how's it going? You ever had that light come on your dash, water in fuel? Well, today's video is going to be on how to fix that issue and a little update. So, the Swag Performance Off-Road, we got this nifty little drain plug here. This goes on your HFCM, which is technically your lift pump. So uh, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna put the O-ring over here, obviously, and uh, you take your old drain plug out and you put this new one in, it's knurled. Um, I'll take it out of the package in a second. But uh, so it's knurled and everything, so you can use your hands. It's still got the six millimeter Allen key right here. So if it gets stuck, um, it's got this nifty little cool thing here. So when you ever go to drain your uh, water again, it can uh it won't you won't lose the plug or the drain plug or anything like that because this keeps it from this keeps it in there from falling down which is pretty cool um like i said before it's uh six millimeter that's all you're going to need to uh take the old one out all right guys this is the out of the package with the o-ring on it's pretty simple um now there was a one video i saw on youtube which was 100 percent false um this is actually for a four-wheel drive truck and a two-wheel drive truck the guy actually cut this off because he said that you couldn't fit it in um past the four-wheel drive front drive shaft which is uh, 100 percent false you can snake this in with the threads here and fish it in and, and everything works correctly um so i just wanted to let you guys know about that nice little knurls on here still with the allen key six millimeter so it's a pretty nice uh update right here all right guys so <clears throat> this truck already has the update already installed in it so what we're going to do now is we're going to loosen this out and your the fuel and water not just water is going to come out you let this drain until nothing else comes out make sure you have a bucket because you're going to make a little bit of a mess all right guys Now see how it stayed in there like I was telling you about that is one of the reasons for the update which is really nice and you can unscrew it by uh, your hands so I'm just gonna let this drain I got a little bit of fuel on me but not, not, not bad so we're gonna let this drain all completely empty All right, guys, so you can see uh, it's pretty much done draining. Um, now, you don't have to do this any certain amount of time period or anything. Whenever the light pops up on your dash from this sensor saying you need to drain the water out of your fuel, that's when you do it. Um, it's about done. So let's pull it out a little bit more. The O-ring's already lubricated by the fuel. So now I'm gonna screw it back in. You guys can go finger tight. The O-ring helps. So go finger tight. I like to do just a little oomph. So I'll just give it a little just for insurance purposes. Nothing too crazy. Six millimeter. <clears throat> there you can cut it. All right guys, so here's a look at the water that was in that truck. The water, you can see it. Now that's no good for your injectors. That's the purpose of as soon as that light comes on, you're gonna have to do this. All right, now we're going to turn the key on, cycle the key a couple times just to build fuel pressure, get the fuel back up into the engine, and we're going to start it. So we're going to cycle the key one time. Cycle the key again. And that should be enough. You should fire right off. 